she hit me first. Like, push me. I'm not dealing with this. And I defended myself immediately. And I grabbed her by her jacket, and there's where the scuffle will be gone. Last week, Grinfo Garden teacher Yolanda Jackson was allegedly assaulted by the parent of a child she taught. The parent in question, Charmin D. Mendonca, is refuting the teacher's account of what transpired that day. She is also accusing the teacher of striking first. She also accuses her of a series of prior assaults to her child. Mendonca is claiming that her visit to the school on November 27th resulted from the teacher severely beating the child for not following instructions on an exercise. On this form have little boxes, right, and they were talking about themselves. So he had to write his name in the middle of the boxes, but he did not, probably not understand the concept, he drew himself. So he said, teacher, lash him with the, you know, the ruler, the wood that is used to draw the line on the blackboard with? Mm -hmm one lashing him to write his name in that box. After noticing the bruises on the child and a swollen finger, which he claims was caused by Miss Jackson, the frustrated parent decided to visit the Albertown police station and made a report about the alleged abuse. This was shortly before the confrontation occurred between herself and Miss Jackson in the teacher's classroom. I saw Miss Jackson eating some food from a bowl at a desk in the corner right by the doorway. So I approached her and I said, good morning. I said, what did Dariel do to cause you to beat him with such force to black and blue his hands like this? She looked up at me and she continued to eat. So I repeated myself using a higher tone, thinking that she did not understand my question. She responded this time in a very aggressive manner. Parent, he must do something like dig a lash in me. I was very surprised. So I responded by asking her, I said, oh, this is how we do it. In a much aggressive tone and much louder, she responded, this is how I just do it. With that, she got up and like shoved me to the corner. I am she, not. She is the one that started the assault. She is the person that started the assault. She hit me first. Like pushed me. With, I'm not dealing with this. And I defended myself immediately. And I grabbed her by her jacket and there's where the scuffle will be gone. After the assault, Jackson claimed that she was body slammed by the angry parent in the full view of students at the school, and the parent only stopped after others at the school came to the teacher's aid. D. Mendonca is awaiting the findings from the Department of Public Prosecution. She claims that the school is covering up a series of acts of child abuse. She then provided pictures and text messages from teachers who are aware of the child being abused by other teachers in the school, even after knowing that her eldest son was recovering from a car accident. My son was like wiggling and still crying. I said, what happened? And then the children relating to me what happened because he was crying, right? And I took off my son's shirt. If you see these marks of hematomia on his skin. I then took him to the head teacher. I reported the matter. And they were trying to apologize to me, telling the teacher she was wrong and all that. I said, I'm not taking this. I'm going to the police. So I went to Albertown Police Station on that day and I made a report. I was given a paper to do a medical at the hospital. I did that medical and I took the medical back to the school. The reason why I took the medical to the school because I was informed that the school have to get the medical so they can submit that medical to the welfare of the education department. However, apparently that was never done. I received an apology from the head teacher and the teacher who inflicted the lashes upon my child. Meanwhile, the Guyana Teachers Union said that it will not support teachers being abused by disgruntled parents. As such, the DTU called for the removal of D. Mendonca's children from the school. D. Mendonca's children are currently barred from attending school. D. Mendonca claims that this act has deeply affected her two children. I was parked outside and I sent a very close relative of mine in with the children and I, I told her, go to the head teacher, notify them that the children are here to write their test since it was the end of term test. And um, on going in, she was told by the HM that um, she got strict orders from the ministry not to allow the children in the school. And I must take the children to the ministry on breakdown, which I did. On going there, I spoke to a gentleman by the name of Mr. Elgin, and um, I think her name is Miss Bess from the ministry. And they told me that the children will be transferred to another school, and Region 4 will decide which school they go to. And um, it's for the best interest of the children. 
She became emotional during the interview and showed headline news a letter written by her older son to his teacher. It said, I write because I'm sad. You know my mother only tried to protect us. My brother is small, but I know to write and I am smart. After Damon Dockley decided to break her silence, she was reportedly been receiving other messages from parents who accuses other teachers from Winfred Gardens of assaulting their children. Nonetheless, Damon Dockley wants to bring awareness to the issue by starting a campaign against child abuse. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers.